What do you need? <clears throat> um, uh, is the, the uh, studio available? We got a job? Sure. Apartment 201, second floor. Uh, door open. Thank you, sen senora. It was perfect. Do you take it? Yeah. How much? What was what's included? You pay for gas, water, power, garden maintenance, HOA, UHAUO. Is trash included? Yeah. You yeah. have to pay for the trash too. Gracias, senora. Uh, <laughs> arrivederci. really need help. I need help in my kitchen. And you're Italian too, right? Yes, 100% Italian. See, honey, he's an immigrant like you. Not all immigrants are the same, honey. Right, ma'am? Right. <laughs> you're on board. <laughs> Tomorrow, 2 p.m. I'll be on time. You're on time. You're five minutes late. Here's our employee handbook. Contains everything you need. The menu, the floor plan, pictures of everything, including the food. This is, this is very helpful. Study it well. We want you to hit the track running. I'll be ready. You can count on me. Like, first generation? Um, I don't know. Why does it matter? Oh, honey, it matters. How can I put this into words you'll relate to? First generation Italians, they cook their pasta al dente. Second generation pastas is floppy. Will you stop? I just hired the guy. You have to try this new position. It really opens you up and tones your... Okay. I gotta go. Must be the new guy. Italian, right? Uh, yes, uh, my name is Paolo, the assistant chef. You must be the bartender? Mm, well, I'm an actor and bartender. Mm. And a busser and a waiter. It depends on the day, so be ready. Always. I see you. I don't speak any Italian, but I speak a little bit of French for a role that I played. But uh, I could learn Italian if I had to for a role, yeah, for sure, yeah. Hello, welcome. Carlos is waiting for you in the kitchen. Did you study the menu? I sure did. Nerd. <laughs> uh, no, no. <laughs> Change Straight it? down to the right.
Look, make sure table five is spotless. Mr. Levine, welcome to our restaurant. I am here for your bittersweet lemon chicken, and I have exactly 20 minutes. Wonderful. How about a glass of Vermentino 2012 from Tuscany? Why not? Table five is ready. Oh, good. Could you tell the chef that Mr. Levine will be having the lemon bittersweet chicken? This wine comes from a family-owned winery. Right over here. Yep. One order of chicken. It's lemon bittersweet chicken. I'm so sorry, I had a hard time finding a place to change in the lockers. The lockers. The lockers were hard to find. I am uh, ready. That bird. Um, that, that, that bird? The chicken? You know, chicken is a bird. Uh, the lemon bittersweet chicken. Um, uh, right, uh, let me play the food. Did you touch my chicken recipe, Italian man? No, I, I, I was just, you, you were outside. Did you uh, change my chicken recipe? I, I was just trying to, I was trying to help. Is that bittersweet chicken? Vine. Best chicken I've ever had. How is that chicken so fast? Check, please. The boldness of smoked paprika blended with lemon zest, worthy of a five-star review. <laughs> Have a great day. Oh my God, we're gonna be famous. <laughs> I have to prepare a speech. Oh. I'd like to thank the uh, Chicken Academy and the, uh, I mean the Kitchen Academy. <laughs> and even though. <laughs> I know an Italian's like you. What do you mean? This is my kitchen. And I tell you what to do.
was your first day? Uh, learned a lot of Carlos. And you'll learn a lot more from him. You know what? I bet Edward Levine will write about our lemon bitter sweet chicken in his column this week. It's going to be a great review. Uh, so, you, you like? You loved it. You said it was the best chicken he's had in years. This is big. That's great. Well, what else did he say? He said he loved the smoked paprika and lemon zest. He might be our good luck charm. It's a great first day. Tomorrow. Don't worry about it. We're going to make time for that. That's what you always say. You like the new hire? You mean Paolo? Eh, it's okay. I think he's a little impatient, and it's a little too all over the place. As long as he listens to me, we're not going to have any problems. I like him. He's a really hard worker, and you need someone back there with you. He's a great addition to the team. Uh, I said, once he listens, not in my way. He won't be. This is a good thing. Besides, I really think that we're going to get a great review and be slammed. Uh, yeah. Good news. Why are you here so early? Uh, five minutes early, I'm, I'm on time, or I'll be on time. <laughs> right. Make sure all the stations are good. We're going to have another busy day. Get chopping. Did you bitches start without me? Honey, I'm here working. Working. I love your job. Why don't you sit down and join us? What are we drinking? So, this is it. The juices of Italian grapes. A glass of Vermentino della Toscana. Oh, sounds fancy. Give Mama some of that. I told Maya that this wine would pay a great with such new dishes she created. This is why we do this, to taste and ponder. Well, speaking of taste and ponder, why don't you get that chef of yours to make us some pairings to go with this Italian juicy grape juice? Oh, calm down. Mm. Is this the Italian juicy grape juice you promised? Trish, sip it. I have to say that Italian is the flavor of the mom. Oh, mm -hmm. don't encourage her. I'm not encouraging anything off brand. Come on. Have another sip of this. Yes. Paolo, <laughs> could you ask Chef to prepare some pairings for the tasting? Yeah, sure. Um, Carlos stepped out, but I'll let him know right away. Mm. I would like to get some pairings with some of that. You need to fizzle those bubbles. No, I agree with Patricia. I see nothing wrong with coating my lips with such velvety elixir. Mm -hmm. You two are out of control. <laughs> and this is only my first glass. I need to parch that fire, girl. <laughs> Give me some more Italian. Put out this heat. Maya, I told you. <laughs> you have to order at least five pieces of this wine, because it's right. What's his name? 
Paolo. Oh, Paolo. Give mom some juice. <laughs> Busy night, right? Yeah, it was a good day. So you're from Tuscany, right? Let's see, I am. I love Vermentino della Toscana. You know why it's so good? You tell me why. It's the people that make the wine honest, proud, most importantly, happy. That's why it's so juicy. So funny. <laughs> it's just something Patricia said earlier today. It's a silly girl. It's... It's... Something's wrong? Just some accounting inconsistencies. I need to take a second pass at it. I'm, I'm sure I'm messing it up. Just it was a busy day, and I'm happy with that. Let us uh, raise and toast to that thing. Will you just hurry up? We gotta make the rounds today, and I'm not particularly happy about this stop. Why are you always hurrying me up? I gotta get my game face well, chop, chop, we got entities to make. Real funny. So, you want me to bring sticks? Not this time. This is just the courtesy visit. All right, boss. I just hope that pasta sauce is as good as they say. Welcome, guys. Uh, do you have a reservation? I don't think so. We're just here to see the chef. Oh, and I hear nice things about your pasta sauce. So, yeah. A table, please? Uh, uh, very well. Let me, let me get you a table. No, we got it. Who are those guys? Mm. They say they're uh, friends of the chef. Didn't know you guys rode like that. Mm. What do you mean? Mm. What you mean? What do you mean? Mm. Like, I'm an actor. Look at these guys. They look like the bad guys from Central Casting that never got the audition. Stop it. What do they want? Uh, they hear great things about the pasta sauce. So that's gangster code for give me two plates or else. You're silly. Go call Carlos. I'll greet them and offer them some wine. Welcome, gentlemen. Can I interest you in some wine or any beverages? Yes. I'd like to order your finest oh. I apologize for my colleague. We're on working hours, you understand. Yeah. We came by to say hello to the chef. Oh, you know Carlos. Yeah. We're engaged, and he's my business partner. How about some Italian soda? Oh, yeah, of course. Carlos has told us all about you. Hasn't he, Chopstick? Yes, he has. We just didn't know what a lucky guy he was. Bag a beautiful gal like yourself. With all due respect. It's all due respect. Italian soda's fine. Go light on the ice, will you? Why are you always correcting me in front of customers? I do not appreciate that. 
This is a customer we did not know we had. So I apologize if you feel offended. Learn to speak right. Let's make this interesting. We are here. Yeah. Carlos did not come out. Oh, that's good. That'll get his attention. Okay, Mr. Rockwest. We'll call you when we're visiting our next customer. Chef, two friends of yours are here for you. What two friends? Two friends, they said. Something the matter? So the pasta place worked for them. Rick didn't tell you? Well, two noodle with tomato? I swear, that man's going to drive me crazy one of these days. Hey, you. Hey. Just don't mess it up. Those noodles ready? Uh, you mean the pasta with tomato sauce? Yes, those noodles. How long does it take? Actually, uh, it's ready. Let me, uh, let me play for you. <laughs> well done, Michelangelo. <laughs> I'm here, I'm here. Everything is under control. I need that spot clean. Did you touch my sauce? What did you put in the sauce? You were outside and... What did I tell you last time? Just trying to help. Huh? Your help is what I tell you. I know. What did you put in the sauce? What did I put? I, I don't remember. I, I was just I was trying to save the sauce from you. I know you. Italians like you. Gravy, soft. How was your meal? Surprisingly delicious. <laughs> Where's Carlos? He didn't come out to hug us? He's very busy right now. Oh, he's busy? <laughs> no worries. So, um, business is doing well, huh? Can't complain. Oh. Good to know. What he means to say is, we're glad for you. Carlos deserves a win. We like the Italian pasta sauce. E buono. Just like Nonna used to make it. Mm -hmm. It's a winner. Thank you for mentioning it. I'll, I'll pass it along to the chef. Bellissimo. Grazie. My name is Big T. This is my associate, Chopstick. Drago, oh, hmm. I'm Maya. Nice to meet you. Sauce is a hit. Just like Nana used to make it. Compliments to the chef's tea. Table seven overheard your friends and they all want to try the same sauce. So four more plates, please. Plates ready. Oh my God, it smells so good. Hello, can you help me with the other two plates?
Hey, do you need a ride? <laughs> I used to have a Vespa really similar to this one. Oh, really? <laughs> a really long time ago, right after college, I lived in Florence. I, I took a sabbatical there. So there I was, broke in Italy. My cousin drank half a bottle of wine. My hair is soaking wet from the rain. <laughs> and the Vespa dies right in front of the trajectory of... And there's Carlos. He was a part of this, um, this Samba traveling troupe. Really? <laughs> and he was um, thrusting his uh, head uh, dancing, if you could imagine it. And he was wearing a pink and yellow skirt. I will never forget that image. Uh, <laughs> so I... So I... <laughs> first. I just want to say that I'm really glad that you're on the team. Likewise. I know that you probably want to do more in the kitchen, but, but Carlos needs time to trust me. I want to earn his trust. Spot to the left. But I trust you. I think you're an amazing chef. And I'm comfortable around you. Likewise, Maya. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, it's, uh, this song, it, it's so pathetic. <laughs> it's, it's so sad. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing, Paolo, really. So, what's your story? Why are you still single? You seem to be a hit with all the ladies at the restaurant. I moved to the city after a hard breakup. Much time passed. Decided to focus on my career as a chef. Not just looking for anybody, but, uh, they say when you're not looking. Yeah. I know exactly what kind of woman I'm looking for. Good night, Ben. <laughs> hey, so, um... <laughs> my friend Patricia, um... has a crush on you, I guess. <laughs> See you tomorrow. See you for the ride. Can't fall asleep? Um, what? No, I was just finishing up here. You should sleep. We have another busy day tomorrow. Is there something wrong? No, I just... I think things at the restaurant are not going as well as they should be. Maybe it will take some time for this to get better. Perhaps with new hires. We just got that great review. People are coming in. I can't really afford new hires. There is one thing, though. We might need to hire an accountant. What do you mean? It's just that I can't reconcile the money some nights. I, I might be messing it up, I don't know. You mean there's missing money? Not missing, I just... I think I might be messing it up. Yeah. That's it. Maybe. When did you first notice money was missing? Two, three weeks ago? Wait, isn't that when Paolo began working with us? 
Oh my gosh, no, it's not what I'm saying. He's been great. He's he's really helpful. Really? How's he though? Let's just hire an accountant. I better not find out that he's been taking money from us. enjoyable with y'all. Turn, turn, turn. Package. Oh. Alright ladies, listen. <laughs> I may need your help with something. Do you happen to know a good accountant? I know a good one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can also share some contacts, but I thought you said you were doing the accounting. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I just want to make sure I'm doing everything right. As long as you are okay. Is it something we need to investigate? No. No, 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 no. Because I'm ready. Patricia Holmes is on the case. I'm gonna go to the ladies' room. Just don't wander into the kitchen again. If you find a good deal, give me your Watson. No, oh, this end. I will pay for your Bumble subscription. Darling, it's free. Let This is so weird. I don't understand. Manuel was, was a bit slow today. How is this possible? Maya, is there something I can do? If there's something wrong, you can, you can tell me. Someone is stealing money. What, what, what do you mean? Money's been missing for two weeks now. Someone is stealing it. What can I do? What can we do? The cameras. You have, you have cameras? I, t tomorrow, I can come in and I, and I can find the perfect spot. So I'll set it to record. We'll, we'll catch you wherever it is. 
And you think the battery will last long no. enough? No, I have a rechargeable battery, so I... We'll, we'll catch whoever it is, okay? It'll work. I know. Um, you look nice today. Fresh blow dry? I woke up like this. <laughs> and you're 30 minutes late. Uh, my Uber was late, I'm sorry. Plus there was traffic. Traffic or an early audition? Just make sure the tables are set up. And yes, I did get a blow dry. Hello, dear. As usual, I don't have much time, but I was in the neighborhood and I thought I would try some of that authentic tomato sauce. I was wondering when you were gonna come back. Let me get a table set up for you. That man got swagger. Can't deny it. Should I go to the kitchen and tell chef, or should you? Oh. <laughs> but of course. The Italian man is not here. He is late. Is that Edward Levine at that table? Uh, yes, I was about to. Uh... You were about to what? One order of doodle with tomato. I swear I'm going to choke that man someday. Okay, chef. It's time to put your tomato sauce to the Levine test. No worries, I'm sure it'll be great. You're late. My best bow in the start, huh? <laughs> Clean. The saucepan. Yes, Chef, uh, anything else I can grab for you? No, get moving. Well, hello, hello. I didn't expect you here today. Well, you can't keep me away. No, where is that Italian treat hiding? I told you, Italian man, watch my kitchen. 
do not touch my sauce. I'm sorry, I was just, uh... I caught you! You have meddled in my kitchen for the last time. <laughs> Rick, be a pal and take this to Levine. Quickly, it's getting cold. <laughs> Plate of noodles, table five. You encourage this. Seriously, Carlos, you don't find him funny? That boy is traumatized by you. He taunts me, he mocks my dishes. He's a hard worker and he has a lot of passion about life. He also helps us out a lot here and we're lucky to have him. Speaking of lucky to have him, where are you hiding that Italian bombaloni? Trish. I'll send him right out. Oh, Carlinos, you sure know how to spice things up around here. Woo! Cheers. Oh, and can I also order paid pasta from you? I think it's time for lunch. Sure thing. Oh, and don't forget to add the Italian spicy sausage. Shh, Patricia, we have customers. I'm just messing with your hubby. Behave or be gone, devil. I'm about to cut both you guys from any more wine, so uh, zip it. <laughs> oh, you had a pleasant lunch? How was your pasta? Well, <clears throat> honestly, the, um, the sauce was rather bland, and the pasta was just okay. I'm so sorry about that. I'm sure it was a clue. Well, I'm hoping that last time wasn't the exception and that this is the standard. I'm sorry. Did we do something wrong? Let me talk this for you. No, uh, don't worry about it, dear. I'm very blunt. I don't sugarcoat anything. I tell it like it is, and that is because I care. I'm more than happy to pay for the bill. I'll be back, but other people wouldn't after a dish like this. I'm sorry about this, Mr. Levine. Just pay attention to what's going on around here. Hey, we need to talk. Sir, what's going on? Levine just left disappointed. He's not sure that he liked the tomato sauce. That's it. Paolo! Yes, boss, how can I, uh... What did you put in my tomato sauce? Nothing, I, I, I was just... I don't believe you. You had spices in your hand. Yeah, but I, I didn't have time to put You were adding food. spices to the sauce without checking with Carlos first? I, I was only trying to help because Carlos... That's enough. Was... Paolo, I'd like to thank you for your services, but you can pick up your things and leave. That is not necessary. I will not have anyone mess with my kitchen's reputation. Out. Now. Are you sure? Why don't we just wait a second and not overreact? I'm on to him. Things have not been the same since he's been here. And you know what I'm talking about. This is not mine. If it's not yours, then whose money is it? There it is. I told you we couldn't trust him. That's our money. We've got you. All of this time and you were just using me? 
No, this, 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 is, not, this is not what it looks like. Uh, if, if I can explain. You best leave. Get out of this restaurant before I press charges. Maya. Maya? Just who do you think you are? Carlos. You know me. I, I'm not a thief. This, this, this is not mine. Tell that to the cops. Wait. Wait. I can call immigration and send you back to Italy real fast. No, no I, I can explain. From one immigrant to another, you best stay away. I do not want to see your face here ever again, Italian man. We shouldn't just call the police and file a report. I told you, we should wait until we have all the evidence, at least until we have an accountant review the ledgers. You should check on Kitchen Review. Uh, Levine just dropped another review. Oh, let's see. So it gives me no pleasure to report that standards may have fallen and hope they can restore that kitchen spark that first grew me to. This is so unfair. These so-called critics can destroy anyone with impunity whenever they want with a review that costs nothing. To think this was all the fault of Paolo. Oh. 
Wait, is that her money? You're on board. <laughs> Isn't that that guy used to work for Carlos? Oh, sure is. Want to give him the whole chop? For what? It's not nothing to us. However, I do have some questions for him. All right. So you want to chop the truth out of him? Is that how you got your name? You really need therapy with that thing, Chopstick. Why don't you get a job chopping lumber or something? You just got to chop, chop, chop. Take it easy. I mean, chop and stick, that's kind of my move, boss. That's why I... Wait, do you think they call me that? Cause I'm, that's racist and uncalled for. To be perfectly honest, none of them have seen any real action. Except that one time I used them to scare away some trick-or-treaters. Wait a minute, you whipped that thing out on Halloween, kids? That's just insensitive. And it's not trick or treaters it's trick or treaters Mama Mia! Whoa, whoa, what the hell? Put that thing away! Okay. Okay. Let's go! Hey, easy now. You're that cook, used to work for Carlos. Yeah. Yeah. Bossy has got some questions they'd like to question you about. So he's gonna throw you some questions, okay? We recently made some visits to Carlos's restaurant. I remember you. I'm not really friends with Carlos, are you? Hey, hey what I say? Boss here is asking the questions, so stick the answers only. Are you done now? I guess I just have to know. That pasta sauce. It hadn't been the same since she's left. And it really reminded me of La Mia Nonna. I guess all I'm asking is, was it you? <laughs> I really need him as a wine wrap. He can be a bit much sometimes, but <laughs> he's a really hard worker. Yeah. These guys again? <laughs> no, all the time. Yeah. They give me the heebie-jeebies. Customers are customers. Welcome, gentlemen. Two for lunch? Yeah, sure, why not? Call us around. I'll be sure to let him know you're here. Right this way. Two noodle tomato table five. Table number. That's an improvement. We had a deal. Good afternoon. We're here on unofficial business. We're visiting some locations around the neighborhood and thought, how nice two plates 
finest Bene Pomodoro would hit the spot while we await the results of the game. Is it me or does Carlos seem very happy to see his friends? Enjoy your meal, sir. Make me two Italian sodas live on the ice. I'll be right back. Did you really steal? Of course not. Oh, I knew that. But what are you doing here? If Carlos sees you, he's going on the tops. Can you just grab my phone? Your phone? Yeah, it's in the office. Oh my god, I feel like Sandra and Speed. <laughs> Two Italian sodas, just like you like it. Hey, you know us well. <laughs> Do I? You guys are in here all the time and we don't really get a chance to chat. Well, my name is Herbert, but my friends call me Chopstick. Nice to meet you, Herbert. Why do they call you Chopstick? <clears throat> Two pasta tomato, penne pomodoro for the gentleman. Mm. <sighs> Would you care for a fresh parmesan? No. Oh, loads of parmesan. You know, Herbert, you don't bury the delicate tanginess of Pomodoro with copious amounts of Parmesan. That's sacrilege. Hey, phone. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Well, Taldunchio. Taldunchio. I didn't know you were such a connoisseur of modern cuisine. I just know from tradition when something's good, a sacro. Mm. Well, I'm so glad you hold us in such high regard. Mm. This here, it's not what it used to be, I have to be honest. You seem like a lovely lady. You kind of remind me of my Nana. The pasta, when Paolo was here, reminded me of my Nana. Well, Paolo's not. That's it... not what you think. Let's hope today's game results fall in your favor. Otherwise, our visits are gonna have to be less pleasant. Keep the change. As a tip. Let's go. Harvard. That's uncalled for. <laughs> All this time you were gambling and you didn't tell me? It was only a few times. It's not a big deal. Please tell me you didn't frame Paolo. You used the restaurant's money? The money that my parents invested? You are overreacting. Besides, you have no proof. Remember, we caught Paolo with the money. Paolo? Who are you calling now? Your dad? Sure, why not? He never liked me anyway. Just give me a minute. Just give me the damn phone, Maya. Maya, just give me the damn phone. Why are you winning so difficult? Hey, I guess them cowboys had a terrible game. Mr. Rockquest would like to have a word with you. More like some questions. He'd like to question you with... Come on, where's he going? Don't worry, Miss Maya. I reckon them cowboys did have a terrible game, but they won after all. Now you have some time to find the truth. <sighs> Watch the restaurant for me! <laughs>
I couldn't have written it better myself. What do you mean? Hm, honey, this is some cheesy rom-com. <laughs> Hello? Is anybody there? Hello? What do you need? Oh, uh, hi, ma'am. Um, I'm looking for Paolo. Uh, do, do you have a job? Yes, um, but I'm actually looking for Paolo, who lives here. Do you know what his apartment number is? Uh, Paolo. Paolo. The Diamond Breaking Guy? He, sure, yep. 201. 201, thank you. I just knew. You know what? Thanks to you, I realized it takes courage to be happy. What do you mean? I mean, you have to put your heart out. You mean you have to eat your heart out? Are you ready? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh. Do you like? <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Oh, oh, oh. One more thing. Uh, it's a new recipe for the uh, a new menu. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>